Now we know how we might go day Stop boys, we might go day We hear the city cause shout out today It's no holidays for we might go day Now we Hi dear fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel It's your girl Gloria here And I'm super glad and a bit nervous to do this today So, as you guys have seen from the title We are here to film the much awaited dear Christian sisters And with me, I have this Christian brothers here Ah. Ready to. Ready to deliver. Ready to deliver. A message with love to the Christian sisters. So. Say with what? With love. Right. With love, actually. Okay. <laughs> let's let's continue. I'm just joking. So stay tuned <laughs> and stay. Uh, stay tuned and stay blessed. Thank you. Welcome back to the video. Like I said earlier, we have sorry. They have a message with love. Um, so the Christian sisters. So I'll just let them introduce themselves and then go right into the video. So okay, what am I supposed to say? Introduce yourself to your name and your relationship with us. Eh? Yes, yes, yes. Need to watch their Christian sisters. Are you yes, serious? Need to hey. yes. yes. Okay. Um, um. Hi guys. So my name is Gideon. Um, I'm single. Mm -hmm. Uncle in green. Okay, um, I'm trying to use his voice. Hi, hi guys. Pick up job. <laughs> hi guys, my name is Felicia and um, I'm single but not searching. You guys must have seen the video. Hey. Love you that got live and you showed in the video. They were dancing when one was jumping. You guys must have seen that video. So, oh. this is the Israel. I mentioned in that video, and that is foolish. And of course, you already know Wonola. Does not need to introduce himself to us, but then introduce Ola. yourself. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Okay. I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Okay. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Ola, and I'm busy. Hi, guys, my name is Hi guys, my name is Jojo or Oluwa Jojo. Mm -hmm. And in the words of a wise man, I'm a single and not bothered. Hey, well, uh, so Alright, so that. if you watched my um, get to know me tag, the voice behind the camera, the question asking the questions is this man right here. And if you watched one vlog like that, he also showed floating his light and oppressing us. Anyways, yes, I was yes. just passing by, innocently. People yes, who yes. chose to be oppressed were oppressed. <laughs> The video. So, what do you guys have for us to do? Oh, yeah, Christian. Traffic. I listen to me. Yeah, Christian. I like Are you. Are you afraid? I like, I like the name. Don't be afraid. I like Christian sisters. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, dear Christian sisters, okay, let me open the book of atrocities. And um, I get atrocity Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dear Christian sisters, basically these things I jotted down just came this evening. Just, uh, it was just spontaneous. Came by the spirit of God. <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, dear Christian sisters, my first point is this: dear Christian sisters, do not be unequally yoked. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. dear, dear Christian sisters, do not be unequally yoked. And let me just. Shed a little light on that. We see times where believers here, yeah, Christian sisters in quotes, want to enjoy. Why you do this shit like that? Don't show us, man. Don't show us, man. Don't show us, man. Okay, um, Christian sisters want to eat their cake and have it. Have it. Is that correct? They just want to roll with unbeliever boys, yeah, unbeliever guys, in the, in the name of their co ones, they are the, they are the ones that know how to spend, they are the ones that know how to be romantic, they are the ones that know how to be young, they are the ones that know how to stand up for their women and stuff like that. But then, that's all good and fine, but the only problem is they are not believers. And so, when you don't have the same common ground, when you don't have the same values attached to each other, somebody will surely fall, somebody will, there will be a problem, there will be a catastrophe, yeah? there will be a crisis, and so dear Christian sisters, do not be on the holy road. As a matter of fact, Pastor Ian said something, Pastor Ian said, there is no talk 
with an unbeliever as per relationship. There shouldn't even be any, there should not be, the person can be your friend, but then relationship means a not higher, and then you shouldn't go a not higher with someone that does not have the same belief as you, basically. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say? Why you should actually? Okay. Seems that I'm next. Um, so I went for this program and then I could see the eyes of this Christian sister, you know, and um, what she was doing was just to catch, I believe what she was doing was just trying to catch, she was, she was trying to catch the attention of the minister. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've already fallen down, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, but then you only hear pastor, you only hear the pastor's voice coming, coming close to where you are. And then you're like, she was, I think she looked at me like this. I just started jumping up like this. She's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it, looks very, it looks very intentional now. And yeah. these are the kind of people that. Wait. Let's come. These are the kind of people that if you just hold them and say, stop the act. I mean, yeah. make up. You are weak. You are weak. You are weak. You know, so, so please, dear Christian sisters, don't act. Only on that anointing, unnecessary. Don't not, pretend. Not, don't pretend. Don't fake it. Don't 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 fake it. Oh, why? Yeah. Mm. I got plenty things to talk. <laughs> why, I have plenty. Things why, why fast it? Um, all right. I'll, in my um, should I say, in my own opinion, I'll, I'll try not to be biased because I remember before we started filming this video, I was talking to Ola. I said something. The tendency of you filming a dear Christian sister's video as a guy and you know being biased is actually there in the sense that you might want to support the guys. Oh, okay, you know the guys are doing better and the girls you need to improve. And as a lady, the girls are doing better and you need to improve. You know, I'll, I'll try as much as possible not to do that because, in my opinion, I feel being fair in judgment is actually important let me just um, start by saying this i have a problem with people who carry should i no, 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 professor professor, professor. professor. <laughs> professor. <laughs> I, have, I have a, i have a problem with ladies and i'm surprised christian ladies even follow the set of people who carry feminism on their head mm. Mm. this issue of feminism is feminism bad obviously not but in, in the in the words of Mars Moral, you know, like the preacher today thought, he said, when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse then becomes inevitable. You realize that a lot of people don't even know what feminism is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they have something to say about, about it. Yeah. So how can that be? You see a lot of Christian sisters, you know, I'm, I'm not saying everybody, but many of the Christian sisters I've seen, to my surprise, they will go on Twitter and oh, you know, Wala for woman with the cook for your husband. Uh, Do you, you know silly silly statements like that? Forgive me for saying this. I'm, I'm just being open. <coughs> or the woman cannot wash the plates. The man will have to wash the plates. Um, the woman cannot be cooking every time. You know equality and all of that stuff. And I'm a big advocate for equality. You know I actually support equality. But this issue of taking feminism to the highest extreme is, is alarming and I feel we need to work on it. I feel we actually need to work on it. Um, before I pass it down to the next person, I just want to also say something. You know, in my class, I remember one day we were having an argument with Mr. Lewis' class mm -hmm. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. someone made this silly statement. That's sexist statement. No, no, not that sexist one. So, someone said, someone made a ridiculous statement. A lady, she was like, why can't the woman be the head of the house. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was there that day. Are you serious? I will be you. Are you really much? Christian sisters. I'm trying not to be biased. All right, I'm just being fair. You know, if a guy is doing something wrong, I'll tell the guy that he's doing something wrong. But, you know, this is actually around me. Why should, why should, the question is, why should a lady actually be the head of the house? As a Christian, why do you think, you know, that a woman should be the head of the family? When the Bible says mm -hmm. that the man is actually the head of the family. And it turns out that a lot of people don't know what it means yeah. to be the head of the family. So they think it's just a title that is so actually attached to the, you know, mm -hmm. so that is actually attached to the person. Oh, when you hear the head of the family, the our family is around, you know, 
daddy just actually goes out doubt. When your dad is around, the alpha male, the head of the family, he's the one doing everything, he's the one commanding. And that's not what it means, you know. So hopefully as we go into this video, we're going to you know, do more about uh, how a detailed explanation of this because look in the lens of theology. <laughs> Oh my god, the Christian sisters. Alright, this. I think, have we mentioned that this is not the first time we're shooting this? Oh, no, mention it, please. I think it's the third or fourth. Fourth. So, the last time that we attempted shooting this. In February 2022. Time is not something in the spirit. So as I was saying, so, I was just joking. That I was joking. That came out wrong. I was joking. Came out wrong. I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. I did joke. I was joking. So what I was saying is, one thing I mentioned in the last time, the last time we tried to shoot this video, I'm just going to mention it again. Is that Christian sisters? I'm going to bring a balance to this. Christian sisters, there are times that you are you grow with this nice christian brother he's very nice he's handsome he's good looking he smells nice he, mm. he's all those checks on the on the check i mean just so it's everything and then seemingly the brother is nice and it seems that from his gestures from the conversations with people from his gestures generally it seems that something is beginning to rise you get and then you are there catching feelings and again i said i'm going to bring a balance to this so you are there catching so this christian brother is seemingly really nice and you're already catching feelings you're already thinking that he has something more in mind to this and yeah i agree there are actually christian brothers that do those things intentionally that lead Christian sisters on, like Christian brothers that are not careful about these things. Yeah, that's the balance. But if we have seen with this innocently nice brother whose gestures have nothing, um, what? Sorry, yeah, but Mr. Personality is here. If his personality is just generally nice and he's, he's just caring generally generally no other strings attached no other extra intentions and then you are there catching feelings and then it seems as if the guy is leading you on and then because I've, I've heard instances of this kind of things then eventually they would um, the brother he would appear that the brother eventually get along with another sister and then they will hold the brother as ransom that wait were you not doing this were you not this i thought we were something so to avoid this christian sisters help us because there are a lot of brothers that are naturally nice and again because we have the spirit of god the spirit of god you know fruit of the spirit gentleness on the side so <laughs> so we we have brothers that are generally nice their gestures are just innocent yeah so what you do to help us is see the brother down brother what are we it's it's not hard they are not in the person you find the relationship <laughs> so that the brother will not be <laughs> <laughs> so that the brother will, is not going to be a a, um, a criminal of a crime he never committed he's not going to be held that ransom for something he never Sorry. Criminal of the crime he never committed. Yes, I mean, yeah. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you don't get. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank God. Don't be too like this. Yeah. 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 So that brother would not be held responsible for something he actually never did or intended to do. So even if the brother is doing these things unintentionally, or even if for adventure is even intentional, sit him down and let him explain to you what his intentions are. Is he, is he doing this intentionally, or is doing this just out of a pure art? And then we'll be able to save ourselves and the church in general a lot of problems and issues out there. Thank you very much in anticipation. Thank you. Uh, sorry, before we continue, um, I want you guys to be as flexible as possible. Did you guys see the Christian brother? We are something to serious, are we? Yes, please. Oh, dear. Okay, okay, okay. We'll be flexible. Come, flexible. Let me just. Let me just touch. 
I mean, talk, lift your hands. <laughs> that camera. <laughs> let me just, let me just, let me summarize what you're just saying in one word. Take all kindness to be kindness, except mm-hmm. he asks you out. Mm. Exactly. See, take <laughs> repeat, repeat. all kindness. No smart, smart we do. <laughs> take all kindness to be kindness, except he asks you out. Truth is, some people are just generally in love. And they're like that to everybody. Just like me. And that brings me to my second point. Dear Christian sister, you have a problem if everybody is your dear. Dear girl. Dear girl. You have a serious problem. 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 You tap out devil. I didn't get it right now. Listen. I think there are some words that, uh, that you can use for certain people because of a certain level of relationship they have in your life. So when a Christian sister goes about calling on the boys, sweethearts, Jojo dear, listen, and like that, they take starts. Yeah, she they call you dear. She they call me dear. And she call me dear. We are having more WhatsApp groups. Please try not to create WhatsApp groups. Eh? Um, your personal person, let there be a specific dear. Let there be, if there's no dear, let everybody be bro. Until the dear comes, oh, comrade. Yeah. Until the dear, until the dear comes. Until the dear comes. Second, um, it's not sorry, the, not to have the point I want to say. I wrote this down, and it sounded much more sensible when I was in school. I said, dear Christian sisters, dressed modestly. The intention of God's beauty has never been nakedness. <laughs> now, what? Oh, deep. <laughs> 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 one of your friends. That's really good. That's deep. I mean, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I wrote that. Alright, basically, I'm saying this. Dear Christian sisters, I'm saying this again. Draw the line. Draw the line. I know over time, fashion has evolved, culture has evolved, and even what what people want to say is wear anything that makes you comfortable. Listen, wear anything that makes you comfortable, but don't stress open. As a matter of fact, some people say when you show flesh, you attract your man. Trust me, you don't. Mm -hmm. You only attract a prey. You don't attract your man when you show flesh. Dress decently. Dress modestly. You have the Holy Ghost in you. He can tell you what to wear. He can tell you what to look like. You don't have to necessarily um, image after somebody. Do you know the problem with Christian sisters? Some of them want to dress like Kim Kardashian, but they want to speak tongues like Gloria Van Louis. It doesn't work like that. Of course. It's not possible, okay? It's, it's like this. It's so basically, what am I? What, what am I? No, <laughs> basically, what I'm saying is this year, um, know when to draw the limits, know when to stop some certain things. There's even modesty. You don't have to look like you don't have to look like this guy in money. I is that because you don't have to look like a masquerade to know that you put on makeup, just be light, okay? Look good. You don't have to. Oh, man, I'll give you a word right now, but sisters, then, sisters, I love you, sister. Okay. I love you all, but then I want you to know that you don't have to do these things to look good. You don't have to dress exposed. You don't have to wear so much heavy makeup. You don't have to fix the longest nails in the world to look good. Basically, decency, um, decency is in modesty, right? Decency is in modesty. That doesn't mean you should not keep your hair well. You should not just look good, right, Joe? Alright, I want to say something finally. So, as regards what Ola said, um, we have this thing going on now, my body, my choice. And with all due respect, sisters, that's very stupid. I'm very sorry. But then, that's, that's quite that. That's quite that. Show off Jesus, not your body. Show off Jesus. Because if you feel like, oh, it's my body, it's my choice, you've not been saved so you can make other people unsaved. Hey, like, look at that. Don't oh my God, look at that. Lead us not into temptation. So, like, try and cover <laughs> up. Thank you very much. Please. You know your skin is on fleek. Your skincare routine is working and everything. See for text. I mean, but then cover up. And then as regards wearing makeup, the the color of your makeup, embrace your natural skin. You are beautiful. Oh, you don't even look good in makeup. And even if you want ah. to wear makeup, no, actually, it's not lying. Who put your funny makeup nice. fit? I'm, I'm serious. It's not everyone that looks good on makeup. That's the truth. But then, if you know you are going to wear makeup, there's something called nude makeup. You can go for nude look. 
You don't have to wear red lipstick, loud eyeshadow, and look like you know, a good girl. You know, so you want that why, So you don't have to remind us of Ebu Barabijo, like, calm down, thank you very much. And as regards nails, see, I love fixing nails as well, and I love fixing long nails, but it doesn't mean that you have to be stupid or irresponsible about it. Irresponsible, calm down, go for something. <laughs> I'm very sorry if it sounds rude, but it is the truth. Go for something, you can decide to go for a minimalist look. Do something beautiful and God will help you in Jesus' name. Because I see some of you and I'm like, is this my fellow sister in Christ? Hmm. Sorry, sorry, before you go on, just adding to that point, I think this thing is rampant because we, I think we, somewhat in the body of Christ, we are excluding some things from the Lordship of Christ. Because my body, my choice is not an ideal, some, it's not an ideal thing to say for a believer to start with. Hmm. And the same thing for a Christian sister. Your body is not your choice. Because your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, who is in you, we are from God, and you are not your own. So your body is not your choice, right? So whatever you do to the body should be in accordance to what the will of the Lord is. And of course, the will of the Lord is, is, is not for his children to be led astray, or is not for his, his children to promote immorality. And I know that there's this saying, there's this saying that um, the, the dressing of women is not responsible for the loss of men it is true to an extent but it's not entirely true because there should be more there should be modesty also in the in the um in the dressing of women because number one why are you dressing like that in the first place what are the motives to feel good in your body to do this to do that is it aligned or in accordance with the will of god check these things so this is this is where we we get direction in the body of Christ. This is where we set tracks of what to do and what not to do. Is it aligned to the body of, to, to the will of God? Right? So those people please not to say something first. Um, in Dear Christian Brothers, I mentioned that sisters are triggered mostly by what they hear. And for guys they are triggered mostly by what they see. So calm down with the way you dress. Help your brother, help your brother. Yeah, Calm down. Let me, let me say something. Um, yeah, okay, dear Christian and sisters, if you feel like you have to talk about it, then you must feel like you have to pray about it. Or then you must know that you have to pray about it. Instead of gossiping, why not pray? So, it's in your mouth we hear that Ron Timothy has lost several relationships. He's in five situationships. He's now in, he's now, he doesn't have good shoe again. It doesn't, it's close, it's fast. It's, listen. Yeah, those guys put the money chopping fast. Fast. <laughs> listen. I don't need to research. I don't need to research. <laughs> listen. Apart from the fact that it is very ungodly, it is very idol of you. To notice someone's problem and not give a solution to it. Pastor Ryan said something. He said if you can complain about something, then you must be able to fix it. And so if you, should, if you, if you carry somebody's matter on your head, and you have become BBC News. And you have become BBC News and you are spreading it and spreading it and spreading it. Listen, you are not doing the person any good and you're not making yourself look any better. Mm -hmm. It is better that when you see, okay, you see that a certain brother is having shoe issues. Look, you don't even need to be for Valentine's Day. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Okay, you don't need to wait for Valentine's Day. Give to the person a shoe. It is much better than saying, ah, I guess he brought about this shoe. He's catching fish. He's doing this. He's doing that. Listen, it is, apart from the fact that it is childish, it is ungodly, and it is idle. So, dear Christian sisters, whatever that would make you gossip should make you pray. Mm. Mm. Jo I, are you just in things down? Just things down. Or deep like that? Just, <laughs> just things down. Just things down. Right, so, who has something else? Because may I have a lot of sisters. Yeah, I have a lot of sisters. I have a lot of sisters. Um, <laughs> if you have questions, let me do the channel. Yeah, but yeah, let me check my book. Open it, open it, scroll. Sorry, let me. Check oh, me, let me, let me, let me, let me glory to God! Someone say glory to God. Someone say glory to God. Dear Christian sisters, calm down now. Okay, I know it's boiling. My blood is hot. Okay, let me say something. 
as regards this issue of dressing, open the ah. books of theology. Mm. <laughs> open your Bibles to the book of. I have the Bibles. <laughs> we see. Should I cut? No, no. I wanted to say something now, but you go next. Go go at your colleague. Okay. As regards this issue on dressing, I, I actually feel it's it's important. You know, it, it's very very important. And this issue of um, you know, my body, my life, or whatever I want to do, my body, it's none of my business. Um, however, I dress it makes me happy. Listen, even if everyone says that, you know, everyone in the world actually says that. A Christian sister was not, and you realize that a lot of people don't even know what consecration actually is. Mm. So you see people identifying with the privileges that comes with salvation. Oh, when it comes to their exams, they are I want the Lord, my Father. <laughs> I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. Everything is just there. And you just find that when it comes to picking up the responsibilities, they shy away from it. Mm. So. You can tell God, God, this is what I need my exams, I need all A's, I need financial stability. But when God gives you instructions, it looks as though the voice of God is not even audible enough. Why is that? The truth is, that's hypocrisy. In case no one has told you. Because it doesn't make you happy, you don't want to do it. Exactly. You know, that's hypocrisy. If the Lord should tell you to do something, you ought to do it. Like Jojo said, don't you know that your body is actually the temple of the Holy Spirit? So, if your body is actually the temple of... Let me say, see, listen. The truth is, any Christian guy, or let me put it this way, any guy that finds your nakedness attractive, you know, that embraces it, is irresponsible. Unless Run away. Married. Unless you are married. Ex, 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 you know, except that. Unless you are married. All right. And your is husband. your husband. And is your husband. <laughs> exa- <laughs> in fact, if your husband is not attracted to you, ah, problem. <laughs> <laughs> you that for you. There's problem. You know. You know so any guy that any guy that is actually attracted to you, you know, you flaunting out your body and embraces it and oh, actually comment that ah, 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 beauty. See, have you realized that is when. It, it, now, when Christians, so, no, not me say Christians, is that on Instagram, for instance, you see a girl posting pictures from modesty and decent dressing, and you see two likes, ten <laughs> likes, two comments. But in the Christians, you just, just move two buttons, you say, ah, ah, beauty. You say fire on on point. Listen, your, your, your beauty is in discovery. Your beauty is in. <laughs> they are deceiving you. I'm like, and no reasonable Christian brother who is consecrated to the Lord's cause will find that you know attractive. No reasonable Christian brother who is you know who is consecrated to the Lord's cause will actually find that attractive. It's it's. I don't want to use. Forgive me, but I don't want to use the word irritating. But it's not just. It doesn't sit well. It's appalling. It's appalling. It doesn't sit well. So I feel you should have a sense of. You know, you should learn how to dress well because it's very important. Learn how to keep yourself well. Christian brothers are attracted to people who dress well, people who talk well, people who learn how to communicate. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of girls who are just so open to everybody like Ola said everybody is your dear when you see brother you will hug when you see another one you must you hug you know just learn how to be okay learn how to be decent learn how to <laughs> say, put your body up your body won't please <laughs> don't, don't be everywhere <laughs> don't be everywhere it's 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 not attractive at all you know so i i just feel we should we should learn from this and take corrections please okay. Ola, before you talk i'm sorry mm-hmm. let me chance this one Dear Christian sisters, instead of trying so hard to fit in, stand out. Mm-hmm. Mm. Don't you are not everybody. You can't do what everyone does. You can't do what others are doing. So instead of following them to sing certain songs or do certain things in order to appear cool mm-hmm. or to appear as in vogue, just be that person that God has called you to be. You don't have to fit in at all costs. And to think we're just not looking for any bad bitch. What? Also goes for the Christian brothers too. Anyways, that's what I'm saying. What? Dear Christian sisters, I'm the bad bitch. Not being bad bitch, they're just doing nonsense. You lack of privilege. So, dear Christian sisters, what I'll say is in two points. Dear Christian sisters, mind your business. You don't have to stay back after every church service. Ah, 
DM Christian's oh, sister. Bro, that's fine. Stop I was just going to say that. If you go, if you leave immediately after church, it's fine to stay. There's a balance. Listen, some people stay after church service just to gossip, just to talk, just to see how the pastors are going during the service. What do your pastors say? Do you get?